As early as 44 BC, people had begun to predict the end of the world. Since then, over 200 predictions given dates, times and signs that the end is imminent have come in quick succession. In the past decade alone, at least 28 prophecies have been made with no results. Sample this. In the year 2000, over 1,000 people subscribing to the movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments in Uganda died following mass murder in anticipation of the rapture. This event elicited shock and grief, drawing condemnation. These were carelessly well-orchestrated mass murders perpetrated by a network of diabolic, malevolent criminals masquerading as holy and religious people. Through deception and conspiracy, these criminals outwitted the security network. But as if that was not enough, Thousands of miles from Uganda in a little town in central Russia, believers anticipating the apocalypse locked themselves in a church awaiting the end. This incident, however, caught the eye of the authorities who spent hours attempting to disperse the worshippers who were threatening mass suicide. And closer home, in 2006, Members of the House of Yahweh Church, originally based in the United States, dug underground bunkers, wore gas masks, and hid underground in anticipation of a nuclear attack that would end mankind. The experience saw the church leaders arrested, and as precedence has shown, the world did not end. Begging the question, Will the latest prediction by Family Radio Ministries alleging mankind will be wiped out on the 21st of May through a massive earth will come true? Science has not developed to that point where we can be able to predict the earthquakes at the moment. As much as uh, a lot of experiments have been done to, to monitor earthquakes, it is not possible at the moment to predict earthquakes. You can only be told Maybe uh, in the next one year or two years we expect an earthquake, but not really when. According to the weatherman, though the relationship between science and religion is as complex and separate as the day from the night, the change in weather patterns as witnessed recently, sparking tsunamis, earthquakes and flooding have scientific explanations. There is uh, what we call uh, the climate change, which is being associated with some of the activities we, which we are experiencing now. Like uh, when you have rains, you have them in, in big storms. Those are some of the things we are associating with the climate change. And when you have uh, seasonal, rain, seasonal rains, they are either short or prolonged, depending on where you are on this uh, face of the earth. But even as science has its own perspective, the question of faith remains one that, according to religious leaders, should be based on interpretations and in-depth understanding of the scripture. First Thessalonians 5 verse 1 to 2 states, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that are right unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. In our third part series tomorrow on the Doom Mongers, we will focus on what religious leaders say regarding the said apocalypse and why they insist the flock should remain vigilant. Kathina Chenga for Channel One, the Doom Mongers.